I received a wonderful letter from a patient recently. He writes, I hope this note finds you well. It is with a great deal of gratitude that I am able to write you this letter. On August 7th, 2020, I experienced a heart attack at home, partially due to my training as a 48-year member of the Leonardtown Volunteer Fire Department. I recognized the signs and symptoms, and my wife quickly drove me the one mile to the emergency room. But more importantly, the timing and quick response of the St. Mary's Emergency Room team, the MedStar flight team, and the cardiac team at Southern Maryland Hospital helped save my life. As I understand it, I had a 100% occlusion, occlusion of the, of the LAD, LAD, which is generally a very bad day. However, I was blessed to be given another chance. My emotions begin to overcome me thinking of what these people did. It was just a complete shock to me to have a heart attack, that's for sure. So it was quite an event. Life-changing, obviously, to anybody that's going through it. And um, I'm, I'm just grateful of uh, everything that, that tr has transpired. <laughs> Sorry for my emotion, but it's just what it is, you know. The care that was given to me, the attention to detail, and that was so important to me, and I recognized that out of the healthcare professionals, from the doctors, to the nurses, to the ICU staff, to the, uh, the janitorial staff, the people that were in the pharmacy. There's always the opportunity that you could have a patient in ICU that could have COVID, but there are procedures, there's processes that the hospital had in place to manage that kind of care for others. That whole body of work that was done was attention to detail and everything that I, I saw and experienced, and that meant a lot to me. Not always as we go through life do we get an opportunity to really tell people thank you. The professionalism, the exemplary, exceptional care, and that's the way I characterize it, exemplary, exceptional care that really made a difference to you. And I didn't want to let it go unnoticed. <laughs> it's, it was that simple. I wanted those people to know how much I cared about what they did. And that's why I wrote the letter. Myself and my family will be forever indebted and thankful to each and every person who helped me that day and through my stay in the hospital. I only wish I could I only wish I could find a way to truly thank everyone. I trust you can, you can find, find a way, a way to, to convey, convey my, my gratitude, gratitude for their exemplary, exceptional care. Very sincerely. Sincerely, respectfully, George Callum, senior.